Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. I am here above Lake Elsinore, high in the mountains. Really, really beautiful lookout point. I am going to attempt to do some long exposure night shots with a monopod. Uh, this is a Fiesel monopod that I picked up at WPPI just last week, and it has legs on the bottom, and I am going to test to see whether or not it's sturdy enough to uh, be able to capture some long exposures of this scenery here. This is the carbon fiber uh, monopod. Um, I fell in love with it. It's, it's, it's just incredibly durable. It's incredibly light. And what really appealed to me were how the legs came out in the bottom. So you can get you know, tripod-like result by having the legs down at the bottom. So they'll lock into place. And as you can hear, probably in the microphone on the camera, there is a pretty good wind tonight. So it's not like this is a completely stable shot. Uh, I'm just gonna screw the bottom of this into the bottom, bottom of my Arca Swiss plate. Not even gonna use a quick release plate and I just wanna see if it'll work. Uh, this video might be a dud if it doesn't work, but if it does, be pretty sweet. Screw it all the way in. Until it's nice and snug, which it is. And I'm gonna shoot, see if it works. So now I'm gonna extend the legs on this. As you can see, it'll sit there and just hold it. And as you can tell with the strap, there is a good amount of breeze out here tonight, so it definitely is a, a test for a monopod to capture some long exposure shots. So I'm actually gonna turn on night mode, night vision, so you can see what we're doing. The reason I'm gonna do that is because the light is spilling into the shot and ruining it, and I want to uh, just turn on the infrared. So I'm gonna do that and show you what we get. Now I'm gonna get the street, the car lights going down. JJ, you want, me, you want to shoot with Dad? Yeah. Why? I don't know because when I take a picture, it's black. Yeah, there's nothing for That's what I did when I was a kid. We'll put it on a rock so it'll stay really still and then you can get shots, okay? Put it on that wall and we'll get a really sweet shot. Oh mama, it is crystal sharp. I'm shooting with a Nikon D800 and a 16 millimeter wide. Obviously it's full, full frame, so I'm getting a ton of stuff. I'm getting the car lights going by, and uh, you know, I'll share the, uh, the images when I post this video as well. Dude, this thing is, this thing is amazing. I'm at six seconds hand fr hands free and it's, it's crystal clear. You want time or anything? No. So I know what some of you photographers are saying out there, well, you know, you can't tilt it, you can't bend it, you can't put it vertically, I get all of that. Um, I did adjust some of the settings, some of the angle and pitch of the shot just based with moving the actual legs up and down, um, which gives me some tilt, which ha helps to level out the, 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 the surface on the bottom. Um, but I'm not saying this completely replaces a tripod, but if you had one piece of, of sticks, if you had one set of sticks that you could take that's incredibly light, that serves a pr dual purpose of a monopod and a tripod, you can do it with this. It's not gonna do everything a tripod can do, but the fact that it's taking shots at six seconds in a good breeze outdoors, this thing rocks and it's light as can be. It's holding a heavy lens and it's holding a heavy body and it's doing phenomenally well. So I can't recommend it enough. I'm gonna get some more shots and share them with you guys. to kill me for that one. It really scares the crap out of me that my camera could get hit.
pretty spectacular. Yeah. Mm. That's a 30 seconds on the block. Mm. That's I amazing. Down there. It's a lot of stuff. I thought for sure that car's going by. The wind. Blow it. Wow. Wow. That is tack sharp. That is tack sharp. That's insane. That is, that is beyond insane. <laughs> That's amazing. It's 30 seconds. seconds F9 ISO 250. If that's not a testament to these monopods, nothing is. I've never shot with this seriously. I just bought it a week ago. It's amazing. Totally stoked. This stuff to work people use anymore. I stoke all the time. You stoke all the time. Not to be mistaken for toke. Which I've never done. <laughs> is this another outtake? Yeah. Edit. Edit. I can't believe how light this is. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's doing 30 second exposures. I'm honestly stunned. You can take a turn. Hey, buddy, how, JJ, how'd your shots turn out? Uh, Did you want some help or are you good? <laughs> you good? Awesome. Awesome. Hope I don't squish my favorite parts. So the tripods on very uneven foot, or the monopods on very uneven footing, I just brought that leg in to compensate and we'll see what we got. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh my goodness. In camera. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is <laughs> it ridiculous? Wow. The most advanced. Lighting instrument on the planet, your phone. Here comes a car, ready? Oh, that is phenomenal. <laughs> One more car, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. One more car. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta go. It's almost 11. Is it really? Yeah, it's quarter 11. Always just one more car. That's the shot. That's the shot. 
and that's a wrap. I want to show this to you guys in the camera. This was the setup. You saw I didn't even hold it. Just the monopod against the guardrail, against the side of the highway, D800, wide angle lens, and me. Hi, my name is Jason Lindner. We just finished shooting up here at the top of Lake Elsinore in the mountains. Just did a lot of uh, long, slow exposures, about between 10 to 30 seconds with the uh, Fiesel monopod. It's just absolutely, the results speak for themselves. I'm gonna show them with this video. I love it. I, first time I've used it, I cannot rave enough about it. It's truly a remarkable piece of equipment. It's incredibly light. It's incredibly versatile, and I cannot believe how stable it is. So until next time, keep shooting, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you later. Bye.